2018 exam three. So, uh, welcome to the video. This is the last exam for 2018. Um, hopefully, y'all did good on your test. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new. Like the video, comment down below. Have any questions, message me on Instagram, link in description. And let's get started. So 2018 exam three, number one is gonna be the same as 2019 zone. So I'm just gonna use that clip for number one. So let's get started. Let's get right straight into it, number one. And uh, number one goes off with derive the expressions for IR and I theta components of the velocity and acceleration. I'm going to be working it out how my teacher taught me and how I did on the test and got full points for that question. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you write is the R. The R vector is equal to I R. Okay. R is equal to I R times r. That's what the r vector is equal to. And then after that, you're supposed to memorize i r is equal to cosine theta, cosine theta i hat plus sine theta j hat. So those are the two main things you're gonna need. Then after that, you're gonna have to take the derivative of both of them, d i r, d theta, and then the derivative of that is gonna be d i theta. So d I R over D theta. So I heard this one is called chain rule, or yeah, it's called chain rule. So you just take the derivative of that. It's gonna be negative sine theta I plus cosine theta J hat. And then take D I theta, D theta, which is equal to, and this is equal to I theta. This is equal to I theta. So now you take the derivative of that, and that's gonna be negative cosine theta I hat minus sine theta J hat, and that is equal to negative I R. As you can tell, this is just a negative version of that. So those are the main things you're gonna need. And then on the side, you can write the general equations, D omega over DT, is equal to alpha and d theta over dt is equal to omega. Okay, so now we're gonna take both of these with respect to time. So let's do d i theta over dt. So this is, yeah, this is gonna be chain rule. So this is equal to d i theta over d theta times d theta over dt, because it's just the same thing. You, if you cross these out, it's gonna be di theta over dt. So now, just substitute it. You know d theta dt is gonna be omega, and you know di theta over d theta is negative ir, so it's gonna be negative omega ir. And that's the first part. Now we're gonna do the same thing for dir. D I R D T is equal to D I R D theta D theta over D T and D I R D theta is just I theta so this is going to be omega I theta so that's the second part you're going to need so now to find the velocity we are, we know the formula for velocity is D R over D T so now we're gonna take the product rule, which is equal to dr over dt i r plus r times d i r over dt. So that is the product rule. You take the derivative of the first term, multiply by the second, take the derivative of the second term, multiply by the first. So, yeah, okay, so now since we have that, all you gotta do is substitute um, dir dt. You know that's gonna be omega i theta, and that's all, and that's gonna be the formula. So now we know v is equal to dr over dt i r plus r omega i theta and that is the 
formula for the V. And yeah, that's the right formula for the V, and that's the first part. Now you're gonna do the acceleration, which is right here. Acceleration is the derivative dV dt. That's the formula. So all you're gonna have to do is do the same product rule, but now you're gonna have to do it for each term in this equation. So let's go ahead and get started. It's gonna be equal to d squared r over dt squared times ir, ir plus dr dt plus dr dt dir dt. Okay, next you're gonna add those plus dr dt omega i theta plus d omega over dt r i omega plus d i theta over dt r omega. Okay, so that is the whole formula for acceleration. Next, we're going to substitute the terms in. So for dir dt, where you know what it equals, it's right here. This is equal to theta i theta. And we know what d omega dt is. This is equal to alpha, as you see up there. And you know what di theta over dt is. That is equal to negative omega i r. And those are the three things you can substitute in. And after you do that and substitute likes terms, the final answer is going to be a is equal to d squared r over dt squared and then minus r omega squared. So we're going to put the irs together. Put the irs together. This is negative omega, omega r, r omega squared. So we're going to put the irs together, and that's ir, that's ir. Then parentheses, and that is all the ir. Next, we're going to do 2 dr dt, 2 dr dt, because that's dr dt, dr dt omega. So there's two of them, 2 dr dt omega and then you have r alpha because you substituted that in and you parentheses that and put i theta i theta and that should be the final answer for acceleration for number one yeah that is the final answer right there and if you write all this down on your test you should get a uh, all 25 points for that question i actually didn't do number two and four for 2018 exam three. So no work for those, no work for 2018 exam, no work for 2018 exam three, number two and four, but I'm gonna do the one that I did do, number three, number three. Yeah, number three is the only one I'm gonna be working in this video other than number one. So let's get straight, straight into it. The question is gonna appear right here. Take a screenshot, we're gonna find the angular velocity after the objects hit the rod. So let's start off by writing. Let's start off by writing. Um, we know the torque is going to be equal to zero. And we know the initial angular momentum is going to be equal to the final angular momentum. And let's write down the equations that we know. L equals to R cross P, which is equal to MR squared omega. So let's start off with initial angular momentum is going to be m1 s over 2 squared omega naught. s over 2 squared because we know it's the distance they give us s over 2. So the radius is going to be s over 2 of that. So we know s over 2 is the length and omega naught is the initial omega. So this is the only initial angular momentum happening. And then for the final LF is going to be the same thing, M1 S over 2 squared omega. This time it's not going to be omega naught. Omega plus M2 S over 4 squared omega. Okay. And now we're going to set them equal to each other and solve for omega. So M1 S over 2 squared omega naught is equal to 
omega m1 to simplify s squared over 4 plus s squared plus s squared over 16 plus m2 s squared over 16 okay so omega is going to be equal to m1 s squared over 4 omega naught over m1 s squared over 4 plus m2 s squared over 16 so now to simplify you can remove this s squared over 4 s squared over 4 make this uh you can just make this 1 over 4 it doesn't have to be s squared over 4 no more m2 1 over 4 yeah so this is going to be 1 over 4 and the final answer is going to be m1 over m1 plus m2 over 4 omega naught and that should be the final answer they get in the answer key and yeah that is the final answer they get and they put counter they put counter clockwise because that is the direction that it's rotating and that's the final answer for number three and that's it for 2018 hope hopefully you guys enjoyed the video that's the last video i'm doing um for physics thank you guys for watching and go check out my other videos and I'll see y'all in another video.